If you've ever needed to use more than just the five groups that come inside of Element 3D, then that's what the unified mode is for. Let's get into it. Well, hello there, my fellow YouTube watchers. How are you doing this fine Monday? I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> so this video is a response slash request that was made by Steve E. Miller uh, in the comment section of one of the other videos that I did uh, that he was having issues using uh, multiple instances of Element 3D or using the unified mode in Element 3D uh, to get more than just five groups. Uh, that come kind of standard in kind of uh, each instance of Element 3D. And this video is uh, hopefully going to help him solve the problems that he was having. I don't know exactly what his uh, scene was or what the problems were uh, that he was having. So I'm just going to go ahead and do kind of how I would go about uh, doing this. So um, this particular scene, so with Element 3D, we have uh, five groups. Uh, in each instance of Element 3D. And in each group, you can use, um, uh, you would have a separate model in each group. Now, each group also has a replicator, so you could also replicate that single model, but you basically have five instances of uh, Element 3D that you can use, uh, I'm sorry, five groups that you can use on each instance of Element 3D. So what happens if you want to use uh, more than uh, five? Well, that's, uh, that's where the unified mode comes in. So I have two instances of Element 3D here. Actually, let's go ahead and start. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to do this all over again. So um, I'm going to delete um, both instances there. And then I will now add element uh, to this. Okay, so uh, here in the scene setup, so let's do this. Uh, let's do this rather quickly. So let's just add a bunch of primitives uh, into this particular scene. So that's one, two, three, four, and let's add a cube in there as well. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take them all out of the group folder and I'm going to delete the group folder. So box will be one, cone will be on group two, torus will be on group. Uh, three cylinder will be group four and the sphere will be on group five and we will click OK. So there's all five of our objects right there and we can go into the group here and we can twirl down particle replicator and we can move these around in our scene if we want to. Um, so let's move uh, this, the cone over there. Um, we're going to move uh, the torus back there. And then we have a cone. Where are we? Here we Particle replicator. And we've got the cone right there. Actually, I'm not going to move this uh, right there. Okay. So there we have our five objects. And um, they're all in the same uh, space right there. So what happens if I want to add a floor? Well, hmm, I could go into the scene setup and I could add a floor and group it with one of these other groups. The problem with that is that if I need to make any changes to that particular group, it's going to affect everything in that group number. So um, one of the ways that you um, would add uh, more groups to your scene is to add another instance of element um, there we go, element, uh, element three, there we go, and there we go. There, now, what happened? Okay, it just went away. So, um, it just went away because the most recent instance of element 3D is going to be basically the render instance. So, in this particular instance of element 3D, we don't have anything in the scene. So, all we're seeing is just nothing. It's black. So, um, we have to go into the first instance 
of element here and we have to change this from full render to unified mode and once we do that we get our first five groups back and uh so in a sense kind of becomes you know transparent or i should say the second instance kind of becomes transparent we see through it um so now we go into our scene setup for instance number two and let's go ahead and put a plane in here and we'll put the plane in there and we'll hit okay and there's our plane um and all of your render settings, all of your render options need to be set in the second instance, or I should say the, the um, how would you say it, the most, the bottom most instance, the bottom most layer um, of, of element uh, has all of your render settings inside of it. So if you wanted to go in here and turn on ambient occlusion, we would do that in this particular instance. Um, and let's go ahead and scale up actually group. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. So all of our ambient inclusion um, is, and all of those settings are now set inside of this second instance of element 3D. So we could add some additional lighting here um, if we wanted to. I don't like that. So oh, that's really bright. I'm not going to go to there. Let's go to cinema um spot there we go we'll leave that okay so um all of your render settings would be sec set in this second instance um and that's pretty much it steve i don't know if this answers the question uh, or the problem or solves the problem that you were having but definitely let me know in the comments if it didn't um because i'm kind of curious to know uh, what your scene was like and what problems, what exact problems you were having. So um, hopefully this helps and this solves the problem. And if it doesn't, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you guys or if anybody else has any, any other questions about Element 3D, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will, like this particular video, make a response video uh, to kind of help you out because that's kind of what I'm what my philosophy is I'd like to help and and solve the problems that you guys might be having so if you have any questions definitely let me know in the comments and don't forget uh, to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification icon uh, and if this video helped you and solved your problem hit that like button uh, but uh, yeah thanks again and uh, that's it for now I'll see you in the next video you see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports now before they go out. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. I just uh, forgot. But uh, it's not shipping out till tomorrow, so there's no problem. Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. And uh, I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo.